Khaleesi, the mother of dragons and the last of the Targaryens. She's strong, beautiful, and fair, and today's DIY is inspired by her. Today, I'll be showing you how to make Khaleesi's dragon claw necklace. The items you'll be needing are some brown clay, a chain, clay tools, wire cutters and pliers, a powdered pigment in gold, brown acrylic paint, and a brush. You're gonna start off by taking your brown clay and you're gonna mold this to make it look like the dragon claw. The claw looks like a triangle that's twisted at the bottom. What you wanna do is make sure that the top is very thick and the bottom of it is very sharp. The claw is bent inwards, so you wanna make sure to make it look like a semicircle. I'm using my fingers to continue molding this. Feel free to use your clay tools if you prefer. I just like to use my hands because I feel like they're easier to work with. If you have any excess clay, be sure to cut that off and continue molding it into the correct shape. I highly recommend using a picture for reference. That's what I'm doing here too. Once you're happy with the shape of it, what you're going to do is take your index finger and you're gonna push it into the top portion of the clay to make it a little circle. This is a small detail on the necklace and I wanna make sure to resemble this into my clay as well. So once you're completely happy with the way it looks, you're gonna put this to the side and we're going to begin working on our wires. You wanna make sure to take your chain and measure it around your neck and once you're happy with the size of it, use your wire cutters to cut off the amount that you need. You're also going to need a smaller portion of the chain and this is going to attach the clay onto the bigger necklace part. Now we're going to take the smaller chain that we cut out earlier and again we're going to use a toothpick to push this all the way in. To get rid of any finger marks and dust on the clay, you're going to take some rubbing alcohol, put it onto a cotton ball and just wipe off the entire clay with this. Now that the clay is all clean, we're going to add our powder pigment. Using a brush, make sure to get a good amount of the powdered pigment all over the clay. Don't be afraid to use as much as you think you need. We're going to use some paint towards the end of this tutorial, so put a lot of powder pigment and if you think it's too much, we'll be able to cover it up at the end. Once you have the powder pigments on, you're going to bake your clay according to package instructions. While the clay is baking, we're going to move on to working on our necklace. You'll take two jump rings and you're going to attach one on each end of the chain. Be sure to use your pliers here to help you out as the jump rings are really small and it's very difficult to do this with your hands. On one end of the chain you're going to add your little hook that's going to help your necklace stay in place. Just open up your jump ring, put it through, add your hook and close it back up again. Now that the clay is all baked, we're going to take it out of the oven, put it to the side and let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. To continue working on our dragon claw, we're going to take some of our brown paint and using our brush, we're gonna place this onto the entire portion of the clay. Before the paint has time to dry, you're going to take some paper towel and start dabbing the paint off. This paper towel technique is something that I learned from Nerdy Crafters channel and this is going to help give it a really rustic look. You wanna put this to the side and give it some time to dry and once the paint has completely dried, we'll finish assembling our necklace. Take the longer chain portion that's going to go around your neck, fold it in half. The reason we're doing this is to make sure that the clay portion gets attached to the exact center of this. After you've folded your necklace in half, take one of your jump rings and using your pliers, you're gonna open this up and put it through the center of the necklace. Now add your shorter chain into the same jump ring and using your pliers, just close it back up. Now I've also seen some people call this a dragon's tooth instead of a claw, but whether you think it's a tooth or a claw, I still think it came out really nice and any Game of Thrones fan is going to be able to recognize it as soon as they see you wearing it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment letting me know who your favorite Game of Thrones character is and why. See you guys next time. Bye!